Hi guys and welcome to my second vlog. If you missed my first vlog, I recommend going back to my channel and, and watching that video just for a bit of context. But in summary, uh, I'm on a mission to improve my surf fitness and my surfing. And what I did is I entered a surf competition. It's going to be my first comp uh, that I've ever done. The point is for me to be motivated to, uh, to, to, to train as hard as I can so I can get my fitness levels back up and to improve my surfing. So uh, what I want to do in this video is I actually want to show you the surf report, the forecast that's uh, for this Friday, which is when the event is happening. Uh, and I also want to just take you through some of the preparation that I've been doing uh, in order to try and improve my chances of uh, performing well in the heat. So let's go ahead and look at the surf forecast for the competition. This is actually looking better than I expected. Uh, in summary, it's about two to three foot and with offshore winds the whole day. Uh, we can see over here on Wingu, if we, we come to Friday, uh, 3.7, 3.5, 3.3. So the swell is kind of fading throughout the day on Friday, um, but the, the, the swell period is not too bad. And um, it's a berg wind, a northeasterly in the early early morning, and then it swings to northwesterly. But, but all of that is, um, you know, is offshore throughout the whole day. So as I mentioned in my first video, it's very important to me that throughout this process, I don't sacrifice time uh, with my business and I don't sacrifice time with my family. So I went out and I, uh, I bought a, a calendar and we've, my wife and I have created a system now where we kind of jot down um, our plans for the week uh, so that it's, it's, all, it's, you know, it's up for, for both of us to see and it's just helping us plan our weeks a bit better. And I'll, I'll surf first thing in the morning, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get my, my work done uh, in, in, you know, up, up until about midday or one o'clock or so, and then I'll come home and I'll relieve my wife uh, from, from the baby and I'll get to spend quality time with the baby and then she can go off and do, um, you know, whatever she wants to do in the afternoons. Something else I've been doing is intermittent fasting. One of my friends told me about it and I did some uh, further research and found it really interesting and it seems like it's a really effective way to lose weight um, pretty rapidly uh, and to do it in a way that, uh, that, that that isn't very difficult. You don't have to follow like very hardcore diets and that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm not going to get into too much detail about that. Maybe I'll make another video at another stage. I've also been doing yoga and stretches uh, most evenings, just trying to loosen up my muscles and become a little more supple and uh, and kind of stretch out my, my lower back and, um, and shoulder muscles. So the final and possibly the most important thing that I need to do before Friday is I need to decide which surfboard I'm going to be using. I've got three boards to choose from and um, and I, I'm, I'm not convinced that any one of them is actually the right board for, uh, for, the, for the conditions that are, are coming on Friday. So I've reached out to my brother-in-law who's got a board that I think could be pretty perfect. Um, and I'm going to go pick that up this week and, uh, and get in a couple of surfs with it on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And just before the comp and see if, if that's, that potentially is the magic board that, that I'm looking for. But uh, so yeah, so I'll only be making the final decision on, on Thursday, I would say, on which, which board I'm going to be using. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If you haven't clapped that like button, please do that as well. And uh, see you in the next video.